They call it the Big Red Edition for a reason. This is a reboxing of Heroes of Normandy here today on Legendary Tactics. So Heroes of Normandy, the Big Red Edition. I mean, this box here is just the storage of all the components. Um, they have some American uh, boxes and some German boxes that fit in here and you you have to figure out what goes where <laughs> essentially and then you've got a giant uh, storage box just for the game elements and so that is uh, incredible uh, to me that the, the game is so big it needs its own separate game box to just store stuff so but I want to make sure we keep this pristine so I'm going to rewrap this uh, up in the shrink wrap if you just run your finger along it it'll seal right up again and uh, look sharp so this also um, is the bloody Omaha expansion and the new battle for Khan expansion as well um, so this was a this is a lot of game I mean there's a lot of boards um, this is just the bloody Omaha expansion box and take a look there's all these these boards I've sped it up a little bit because there's so many of them um, and these boards can be used in different configurations. This is just solid cardboard counters and counters and counters. I mean, it's an impressive, it's an impressive thing. There's a lot of game here and uh, there's a lot of scenarios and um, it's, a, it's very well put together. The quality is top notch. You can just tell um, that there was a lot of love put into this, into this game system. And Devil Pig Games has uh, really gone all out on it. But as I said, I'm going to protect this box as well. So we'll put it back in the uh, in the shrink wrap. If you haven't uh, gotten uh, an idea yet, this is small unit combat uh, in World War II. And uh, this is the uh, some more maps here. And you can see these are for more bombed out cities. Uh, ones that are more ruins. Um, and they have uh, lots of variations things you can put overlays you can put on the map board to change the terrain they've got all the different units i'm very happy to see the uh, the canadians in here as well um, which is great <laughs> so um, but there's lots of units the the, um, the brits and the germans and the americans now this is the battle for con prototype and i did a playthrough of uh, the beginning first few turns um, a little bit earlier i'm just going to wrap that one up again um, and it adds a whole bunch of elements. And uh, now we're into the, uh, the core game. And you can see um, these are some of the weapons and uh, there's a flamethrower. I'm gonna put some of those back in the grid there to keep them safe. Um, everything on the boards is really well outlined. The, uh, it's a bit overwhelming at first, the iconography and so forth um, can be a bit much at the beginning, but once you kind of get what it is how it's working it's actually a really smooth uh, system for um, organizing the different weaponry uh, effective fire effectiveness through terrain uh, blocking terrain line of sight uh, questions um, and uh, and a whole bunch of, of elements it's interesting because they're squares as well you know you would expect uh, in these type of games that um, they would be more um, you know hexes that's kind of the traditional uh, way so there's even more storage as you can see um, there's a German army units uh, boxes boxes and a and a US army units boxes so I'm gonna wrap that one up as well um, so those ones are are for uh, the units um, to keep everyone organized uh, so that is a nut yes that's not um, that's not a duplicate uh, of the footage from before. This is actually fresh footage of the other storage box that is uh, available um, because there's so many darn pieces. Um, I wanted to punch some out, but just to show you what, the, <laughs> what they look like. But um, man, you have to actually plan your day and get everything together to, to play this. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Now the game itself, um, from what I've uh, played, I've, I've quite liked. It's um, uh, kind of a, a simplified version of, uh, say, a squad leader type game, or a combat commander, that kind of thing. But it's it's got a, a, its own twist on the system. You got these uh, blocks, as you can see, and these blocks are uh, you can choose your initiative, 
Uh, you, depending on the leadership of your squad, you get a certain number of these command these blocks that you can use to uh, order up, uh, order the uh, uh, the uh, whether your units are sh moving or shooting and in what order. Um, there's of course lots of dice, um, and it's got a kind of a nice, uh, easy initiative uh, setup, which is very easy to implement. And uh, oh, we'll take a look at some of the dice. We'll grab some of these here. And just put them away and we've got the uh, the event card deck the event cards are um, very powerful in some cases and interestingly there's really no incentive to hang on to them um, for any uh, future use um, you may as well use them up and it actually encourages that in the in the rules you know because you're gonna be you'll be drawing up a fresh uh, hand each turn up to your hand limit so you may as well use them and cycle the cards through so Anyway, lots of uh, maps of French uh, hedgerows there and the, uh, the various units. Um, lots of cardboard. I can't remember a game that had this much cardboard. If you love punching out counters and organizing them and uh, all that stuff, uh, this is heaven. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty overwhelming, though, I'll say. Just the number, sheer number of pieces. But... You know, I don't think it gets bogged down with uh, the with the volume of pieces. I think that there's um, they're very deliberate in how they utilize them. The scenarios, some of them are very small scenarios, but they're they've got kind of a neat mission to them. Like sometimes you have to, you know, put together a, I don't know, put together a radio to uh, then call in uh, artillery, or or you have to rescue someone, or there's always a it's a it's not just your typical you know patrol and eliminate type missions uh either there's a whole scenarios booklet there and uh that's a a kind of a look at the at the base game there and uh and what that looks like and we'll just put the plastic on and uh, it's so funny because i like to keep these videos as a rule i like to keep them reasonably short uh but this one i just couldn't do the <laughs> reboxing in less time so uh, there's just so much to take a look at so that's the uh, the, the base game right there and just to take a, a quick look at all these boxes there's also a couple other boxes for the event cards and uh, so there's plenty plenty of stuff and uh, so here we go we're gonna put this all back I you know again like to store uh, my games in back in the shrink wrap and then uh, even in the you know putting them in the box that they were shipped in i think that that's uh that's a good thing and just having some bubble wrap handy uh, makes it uh, so that the game is absolutely pristine every time you play um, <clears throat> but overall i think if you if you like small unit combat this is a game you're going to want to check out i don't know if the game system is is for everyone it's it's a little bit more um you know hollywood style maybe um I don't know if Memoir 44 is, a, is, an, is an apt comparison, but something, you know, more, it has a bit more of a fun kind of edge to it rather than it being a, a strict simulation. But there's enough of a, of a simulation there that, uh, you know, you can have, uh, you can get the same feel. Um, but uh, I would say it's a little bit more uh, on, the, on the game side of things as opposed to being in, on the simulation side. And then you've got expansions like Bloody Omaha, which uh, takes things to uh, the D-Day, um, so the D-Day type scenarios, and the Battle for Khan is, is again uh, more about the the, the ruined uh, French uh, villages and towns, and playing within that. So there's again lots of bubble wrap. Got to make sure we protect these games, make sure that they are uh, always in the tip-top shape. Um, there's even some. Uh, some variant counters and uh, all sorts of stuff so um, now the uh, if the prototype is uh, is there but the prototype is essentially a full game I can't see um, I'm showing you the prototype but I imagine the final uh, artwork and so forth will be pretty close to where it where it will end up as the final version so um, so we're just gonna pack that all the way um, there's some other little cards there and now we're in a good spot to uh, fold it up and uh, tape the box uh, back together and just kind of go along it with the knife. Um, people don't realize if you use the knife the opposite way, it actually seals the, uh, the tape up again. And sometimes you can do it a little bit with your fingers as well. But anyway, just a glimpse at all the amazing 
components that are in the big uh, the big red <laughs> edition of uh, Heroes of Normandy. And if you like this sort of small unit combat, you should check it out. This is Legendary Tactics. Legendary Tactics.